my name's Natalie and I'm a talk show host from England. Okay. Uh, great to meet you. Would you mind just sharing with my audience a sure. time when you've lacked in confidence and what you've done to get yourself through that? Yeah, I've never had that. I've always, my life has always been perfect. <laughs> roses. <laughs> it's always been a bed of roses and Disney music playing in the background. Happy. Um, you, know. You, you know, I, I was born in struggle. I was born, um, I was born against all odds and against statistics. My mother was pressured to have an abortion, you know, and she chose not to, and I thank God for that. But I, I grew up ultimately in a white family as a black kid in a Hispanic community. So I, I never really grew up around people that looked like me or, or you know, acted like me. <laughs> and so that could definitely whittle away at your confidence as a young man because you're going, I don't feel like I fit in. Later on in life, you realize there was a reason I didn't fit in. I wasn't supposed to fit in. I was supposed to lead the way in, in a different, you know, in a different category, in a different path. And so, um, and, and the thing is like, even while things are going good, anytime you're you're pushing toward greater, there are, there are always going to be crisis of confidence. You know, like, am I doing the right thing? Even you know this project that we did in in Asia. You know, we're we're heading over there, going, will these songs work? They work here, kind of, but will they work with people that have never heard them? With people that maybe maybe not understand all that we're saying, will these songs work? And so you have these different challenges to your confidence, but ultimately my confidence is not in myself. Ultimately my confidence is in the God who made me. And if I rely on him, I actually stand, you know, the opportunity to take the pressure off myself and really put the pressure on God and saying, hey, you told me to do this, <laughs> you know, you graced me for this, it's on you. Yeah. And and that's not a cop out, I, I'm a hard worker and, and I, I don't make a lot of excuses for, for what I do. And so ultimately though, it's, it's on God to to, to finish the work that he started in my life. Mm -hmm. And when are you coming back to the UK? Gosh, hopefully soon. We end up in the UK at least two or three times a year. So we'll <laughs> so be there I look soon. I forward to seeing yeah. you back over there. Fantastic. Thank you so much Thank for joining me today. Much.